Underrepresentation of women in technology is an ongoing debate across the globe. The pandemic which normalized remote working and flexible work hours has opened new doors for all while the global analytics community makes great strides in inspiring and engaging women in science. Yet there is still much work to be done. Analytics India magazine spoke to data science leader Vanita De Silva to better understand the problems and opportunities for women. So I believe I am a firm proponent of diversity and uh, I believe that uh, diversity you know it's not just about having a lot of women but it's having um, a diverse mix of backgrounds of people of talents of men and women in any environment is the key uh, recipe or the key ingredients of success we uh, women we still end up feeling more burnt out we end up feeling more pressurized and i think we we are not very happy about this current situation right um so i i'm not exactly sure why the burden is more coming whether it's uh, in, internalized or it's it's systemic but um that that is an issue um organizations are more more um sensitive to this but the reality of the situation is that i think a lot of women feel that they're doing they have to work a lot harder to just get the ba- get through the basic day and so concerns that they would have would be um you know how is their career path going to progress given the situation right and i think these are conversations that need to be had um if if say right now uh, the need the family need is is higher right you need to prioritize your family for some reason um so you might not take on a very challenging role at work for a challenging project for the next few months but then that how does that really affect my career moving forward because 6 months down the line um anybody would would feel that they are being held back and especially given the industry as it is today that the way change is accelerating right 6 months is a huge time frame so um i think uh i think um opportunities to catch up right to train to reskill upskill will be um paramount also so the and all of this comes in con- with conversations through mentors through managers um using there is sensitivity but also um using that sensitivity to show that we are supporting um and trying to alleviate that pressure is what will be important at a point when uh, women are re-entering the workforce right um and at the, at that point um you have a lot of programs you do have um, that come up with um kind of a, understanding where the gap is where their aspirations lie and kind of, you know mentoring and training them to get to that level right um but then you also have um women who are currently in the workforce but maybe they have a project that's not um that's uh, say not very challenging or um it's where which doesn't require too much of their time but as a result of it maybe the the skills required uh, might not be the most relevant today right or might not be the hottest skills in the market um so um and this would i would say not just for women across the board also cross skilling learning about first learning what is there exactly um you know in that not just your organization has to offer you but just in general in the industry and learning how to get from where you are to that place is is important these are conversations that happen through mentors to your managers and even just um training sessions that happen uh knowledge sharing sessions a uh, kind of just a very collaborative environment wherein um to understand what all different projects are being worked on what is the type of work available so that we can first identify that there is a gap or that there is a place that i want to be tomorrow where i am not today currently
So one of the challenges with uh, diversity hiring is that a lot of women feel that um, at the end of it, if it's a diversity hire, they lose on respect, right? That even though whether they are deserving of the position or not, the, they are not given the respect because it's called a diversity hire, right? Which is unfair. Um, so and, uh, and there's an organization which did this wherein they ensured that 50% of the resumes coming in, that the resumes that were um, not not being reviewed but were shortlisted were women. So they were maintaining the 50-50% at that level, you know, uh, the split at that level. And uh, it took them time. It wasn't easy. It was it was a slow process. But over pro- a period of about um, a little more than two years or so, that's when they were able to reach that diversity in their workforce. So they didn't compromise on quality. Um, they they got over that challenge of you know people being st- making sne- you know sneering or snide comments about a diversity hire. And at the same time, they were able to achieve that diversity target that they had set for themselves.